Welcome to the module Abuse Prevention – Safeguarding Adults from Abuse. This module offers one of the only dedicated abuse prevention and safeguarding trainings that is truly specialised to the needs of the people we support. This is not a generic human services or health and social care training. Expect passion, values, first-hand examples and stories to underline the importance of keeping people safe. Some of the key features of this module include our inspiring short films, including presentations from Dave Hingsberger. And it's really hard for people direct, in direct care to see their own power because they see themselves as the least powerful person in the organization. So they forget that they're often the most powerful person in the life of somebody with a disability. Tanya Carnell. The person who witnesses the abuse shouldn't make a decision about whether they think it's serious enough to report or not. What they should do when they see abuse is report it anyway. And that thresholding decision about whether there's been significant harm or whether to act or how to act upon that abuse should be made by a higher authority than the person who witnesses the abuse. Doreen Kelly. And I, you know, I just know in my heart that the way he looked at me for maybe a millisecond longer than he ordinarily would. And I just knew that he was communicating that, that actually something had happened. Now, you know, that seems like a very odd thing to say, but I knew, I knew, and this is somebody who doesn't use words to communicate, you need to help get, use the toilet, you need to help him get his food. You know, but when you really, really, really listen to people, people will tell you things. However they do that, it might be with a look, it might be, but people will tell you if you tune in. Beth Mount. One self-advocate said to me recently, you know, we, when we have a, a lot of great relationships in our lives, our disability doesn't own us anymore. It's just a part of who we are. Gary Kent. Everybody turned around and said, I can't live in a city. If you open the front door, he'll run out, run in front of a car, he'll kill himself. That was quite a few years ago now. And he did get to live in that city. He chose to live in that city. And do you know what? He's never run away. And that's because he's happy. So what I learned from that was that we make decisions for people, but we don't listen to them. And the only people who've really got the answers are the people themselves, not us. So the more we listen, the more we learn about the person, the more we can get someone alive. Another key feature of this module is our interactive graphics that illustrate key points and explain abstract concepts. Showing, for example, how people have used their power to abuse others. Or, for example, what happens when you report abuse. Another key feature of this module is our written content that engages the user. Contact us for more information, for a free demonstration or trial, or to sign up.